prepared for some waves. Big ones. Because they're going to be coming. That time will be coming in early. Biggest fight of his career. Biggest week maybe of his life. Daughter Brooke was born this past Sunday. Nine pounds, six ounces. Mom Peggy's doing great. They're back home with Joey's mom. Wendy watching back in Minnesota. My concern, if I was a backup, hey, Bell, is I don't know if he has a good enough chin to stand up the first time he is touched on the chin. We're going to find out soon. Because I got a first feeling that Ariola has the potential in this fight just to walk through a Bell. Maybe I'm wrong, but he's going to come forward, Ariola. He's going to throw punches. He's been in there with good fighters, so he's used to this kind of stage. And it's going to be up to Abel to survive early and use those legs, box a little bit, and find a way to have some offense to make Ariola respect him enough when he doesn't do that, just set up in his kitchen. Ariola had his training camp with new trainer Ronnie Shields in Houston. Came in 249, lowest weight in two and a half years for the former heavyweight title challenger. But let's be honest about that. Yes, it's the lowest weight in two years and seven months. I'll give him a little extra credit, but it's still a lot of people complain that he lost to Thomas Adamac and he being Ariola because he wasn't in shape. And he's only a half a pound less than he was for that Ariola fight. So I think, again, the fight plans are pretty simple. For Abel, survive early, use your legs, box a little bit, pick spots, do that, get the respect of Ariola a little bit, and maybe Ariola tires a little bit. Maybe he starts to evaporate right in front of you. If Ariola won't stack right in, and he just got tested a little bit by Abel. Abel scored well. to do, keeping a little separation, hot shot with that left hand, but when he gets hit, that's going to be the telling tale. Is the team good enough to stand up? And right there, you got a little glimpse, and it's over. TKO victory, first round, Chris Ariola. Tony Krebs stops it immediately. Maybe a quick stop, which I know people out there on the internet already have No doubt that Abel was hurt, but no doubt the referee didn't give him much chance to recover. Uh, he was definitely hurt. He didn't go down. He was held up. But we will give you plenty of replays, and you be the judge as Krebs steps in right away and ends this fight. So one of the questions from the beginning, and I said it early on, was the chin of Abel couldn't hold up against Ariola. When Ariola finally found it, you saw that Abel was hurt and his legs gave in a little bit. But you also saw the referee jump in there very quickly. Here's how it happened. Ariola doing what he does. Coming forward, we talked about the right hand in the fight plan. Well, you saw why he landed it. Abel pulled back on his left leg. He got caught the right. He got hurt. And then Ariola followed up. A little kiss around the cheek by Ariola as Abel had his hands down. There's the right hand that hurts him. He falls forward. Some other punches land. You can say that Abel is defenseless right there. He cannot defend himself. The referee stepped in. Ariola actually was being a gentleman, not punching anymore. Let's take another look in real time. The right hand set up by the left hook like we said the fight plan. All the punches. Abel goes down, gets up. A little defenseless and uh, something a little conventional. on kiss. Real time again. You see Abel defenseless. You see the kiss on the cheek. And you see, good night for Abel. I guess what Ariola was telling you was that I got you, you're hurt, you're mine, and I'm giving you a gift. I'm going to kiss you instead of hit you. Literally a 
kiss goodnight from Chris Ariola. A huge right hand started it all. It sent Joey Abel arching back over that top rope. And a TKO victory for the former heavyweight talent challenger. For the official particulars, we send it up to the ring to Sonny Franco. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 18 seconds on the very first round. Here's your winner, by way of knockout, Chris.